Now, we're gonna go to the perfection of Allah now. Allah can't be compared to anyone. And Allah created this creature like water, and there's nothing you can compare to it. He says, Subhanalladhi khalaq al azwaja kullaha. So commonly mistranslated, but I'll translate it in a, in a Pindu way first, and then I'll translate it fixed way. How perfect is the one who created spouses, pairs of all kinds. Pindu translation, he created everything in pairs. So he created spouses of all kinds. Not spouses or pairs of everything, but pairs from all kinds of things. مِمَّا تُنْبِتُ الْأَرْضِ From what comes out of the earth, وَمِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ And even from within themselves, وَمِمَّا لَا يَعْلَمُونَ And out of things they don't even know. Allah created all kinds of pairs. Now somebody emailed me, brother, Quran says everything is created in pairs. What about amoeba? <laughs> what about a virus? What about, you know, unicellular organisms? Like, yeah, please, what? There's so many words that I've heard my uncle say in Punjabi that come in my head. I don't even speak Punjabi. But like words like Uluda Partha or like, you know, they just, they just come in my head when I read those emails. I don't want to get angry at this person because you're not supposed to be angry. But some questions are just so epic. Now the Quran is being undone by amoeba. And he attached a, like a JPEG file in case I didn't know what it looked like. <laughs> Allah made all kinds of things in pairs. And azwaj doesn't just mean pairs. Azwaj also means groups that complement each other. Azwaj is used in the Quran like that. مَا مَتَّعْنَا بِهِ أَزْوَاجًا مِنْهُمْ Not pairs but groups. كُنْتُمْ azwajan thalatha. You are in three groups that complement each other. Each group complements its own members. It's not pairs. Allah things made complementary is what He's saying. Allah things made complement each other. Entire ecosystems complement each other. Planets complement each other. Galaxies complement each other. Human body, the human body parts complement each other. Spouses complement each other. Families complement each other. Neighborhoods complement each other. Countries complement each other, complete each other. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا لِتَعَارَفُوا All of this is part of الْأَزْوَاجَ كُلَّهَا From within what comes out of the earth too. You know sometimes, it's not just two kinds of apples and two kinds of oranges and... Not like that. That may be true, but also you know there are certain environments where certain plants have to grow, and other plants can only grow in the neighborhood of those plants. They can't grow on their own. They need other plants to provide them shade, or provide them moisture, or provide them other things. And some plants can only grow on top of other plants. And some birds can only live in some kinds of trees. They are in a zawj with that tree. This is what Allah did. Things that need each other. He's so perfect, He made everything need everything else. He's the one who doesn't need anyone. That's the point He's making. Look around you. Look at everything and it needs everything else. Look at how the earth needs the clouds. Look at how the clouds need the winds. Look at how the earth needs the sun and it needs the moon. And they need each other. And Subhanallah. And within themselves, within you, He made things that need other things. He made the pair, obvious pair people talk about is the male and the female. But this goes way beyond that. This is way beyond that. Even though that's a huge, significant, you know, min خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا Why did He make spouses out of you? So you can find peace with each other.